Hi, I'm Thomas Reitmeyer, and I'm excited to present our collaborative, community-centered research to situate automatic speech recognition development. So let's get started. Our research is situated in Langa. Langa is the oldest township in Cape Town, an area that was set aside for non-whites during apartheid rule and is now classified as a previously disadvantaged area. It has about 50,000 residents who are largely first language Isikosa speakers. We've got long-standing relationship um, with community members in general and with a market researcher local to Langa specifically. The problem that our research addresses is that there are no commercially available automatic speech recognition systems that support Isiglossa. Furthermore, state-of-the-art approaches to ASR development configure data as a raw material, something that can be extracted, mined, or scraped into decontextualized data sets that circumvent communities and reproduce their marginalization. Finally, we contend um, with the fact that Isiglossa is really poorly represented in online spaces and existing language resources don't reflect the vibrancy and how language is spoken in Langa. So in our previous work, we uncovered pervasive use of WhatsApp voice messaging. And if you mostly send uh, voice messages, as, example, uh, as exemplified by the screenshot on the right, um, you can see how language technologies can have a um, tremendous impact. They might allow you to search for an old message. Or if you receive a message in a public place, you could peek at it, uh, peek at the message transcript rather than listen to it out loud. So in our previous research, we developed and evaluated an app that allows people to transcribe their voice messages using a rudimentary Isimosa ASR system. So it plugs into the standard Android share interface and allows users to transcribe and also search through their voice messages. In developing this system, we quickly realized that existing language resources do not represent how people speak in Langa. So in this paper, we developed a bespoke toolkit of technologies to engage community members and situate ASR development in context. So the tool uh, uh, kit um, facilitates spoken language uh, data collection, community source transcription, and demonstrator systems to showcase ASR capabilities and feedback research results. So let's begin with spoken data collection. Here we designed and developed the speech box component of our toolkit. We tested these with community members through formative design workshops. And in these workshops, we situated the design, we um, uh, adapted voice prompts and um, changed the interaction flow. The speech boxes were configured, therefore, to engage community members on a topic of interest. And at the time, in March 2022, this was people's experiences of COVID-19 and of lockdown. So we deployed the devices in a spaza shop and an internet cafe in Langa for a period of two weeks. So pressing the big button on the left initiates the interaction flow and the user is prompted to record a story of their experience of COVID-19 in order to build a public collection. So after recording their stories, users are given the option to either re-listen, to re-record, and finally also to share their stories. And otherwise their story is deleted. Um, after sharing, um, users are asked to input their mobile phone number on the keypad on the right in order to receive a 20 Rand or $1 airtime voucher payment. Mobile numbers were not linked to responses and they were deleted immediately afterwards. So residents recorded um, 318 responses on the speech boxes. And beyond ASR development, the speech boxes were an effective and accessible tool to gather community responses. So this contrasts with uh, polling or survey methods that might characterize Langa as a hard to reach population. So our research shows how utilizing speech rather than text or multiple choice and deploying appliances in public settings rather than relying on people bringing their own devices was key to overcoming barriers to digital participation. Audio responses also reflected the vibrancy and innovation of how Isikosa is spoken and mixed in Langa, exactly the qualities that were missing from existing data sets. So here's a story example on loss suffered during the pandemic or perhaps I should call it an e-story example. 
That is to include the Isidrosa noun prefix E. So this story illustrates dynamic code switching between languages. So some of these switches happen within a word, such as istori or ikovid. And the speaker also uses English connectives, such as and or even. And when speaking of loss, it's interesting that the speaker once uses the isikosa phrase, but shortly thereafter uses the English phrase. So this shows the unconstrained nature of code switching in Langa. This example, which is representative of the overall data set, and more importantly of how people speak in Langa, surfaces a key technical challenge for ASR development, supporting unconstrained code switching. So the representative speech samples are only one side of the coin in terms of the data that is needed for ASR developments. Transcripts are the other side. So to support the process of community sourcing transcriptions, we designed and developed the Transcript Tool app. So the second part of our toolkit supports and scaffolds the core audio transcription task through an easy to use mobile interface. So it breaks longer recordings into smaller, more manageable chunks of around five seconds. We involved community members in the testing and refining of the tool, again through a formative design workshop where we identified and addressed any usability issues. We then recruited five community members to transcribe the dataset in triplicate. So the transcript tool extends HCI scholarship on community source transcription, particularly of minoritized languages, as it does not depend on an existing ASR system. We also asked participants to transcribe a few samples of existing um, transcribed datasets of, a, uh, of soap opera clips from an existing dataset. Um, so the elision of vowels and um, variability regarding word boundaries were common phenomena in community source transcripts. So these phenomena also showcase how uh, showcase some of the challenges we encountered in developing a code-switched Isiglossa ASR system. So transcript variability and unconstrained code switching, um, as we've uh, shown in the previous slides, caused us to pause and reflect. So the data set that we collected demonstrates that Isiglossa does not really have a well-defined standard. And in Langa, Isiglossa speakers have limited practice and exposure to the written forms. And written norms are also intertwined with colonial encounters and don't reflect the vibrancy and innovation of language use in Langa. So this contrasts with some of the assumptions that ASR development makes. So that the, it assumes the uh, gold standard transcript exists, which is often only the case for standardized languages. Standard evaluation metrics, such as word error rate and character error rate, also break down when datasets exhibit variability typical of weakly standardized languages. So we leverage this conceptual value of the data and the insights it surfaced to guide how we tuned and improved code switched Isikosa ASR system. This brings me to the final component of our toolkit, um, the ASR de uh, demonstrator systems. We again designed, developed, and tested these with community members but before deploying five appliances over a three-week period in different shops in Langa. Using these devices, community members could query their collection of stories on COVID-19 using their voice. So the system leveraged an improved ASR system to transcribe voice queries and surface relevant stories in the corpus. So the paper has all the technical details. Um, but the system, I think, also serves as a methodological reminder that reciprocity of feeding back research result is a cornerstone of community-engaged research. Our research shows how community engagement surfaces key social and technical issues. Furthermore, our research challenges the orthodoxy of state-of-the-art ASR development approaches and the core metrics they depend on. We propose further research to engage community members in the evaluation and the tuning of ASR models in the making. And we hope that with our toolkit, others will join us and engage with diverse language communities in this challenging area of research. 
Finally, we'd like to thank Mina, study participants, and all the Speechbox users and transcribers for their contribution to this work. And we also acknowledge and thank our funders. Thank you very much.